having a light source at our disposal is something that we take for granted nowadays. Just to be able to turn on the light switch and have a light room and be able to work and do whatever we want anytime uh, and at any time of the year. But during the Viking Age, people had a very limited access to light sources. For most people, the only light source they had during the winter time was the hearth in the middle of the home. And perhaps one or two of these lights that were found at Birke. But even so, these are not very practical to bring along with you if you're going outside. So for most people, the winter time was a very, very dark time. A time for some storytelling, no doubt. Perhaps people were thinking about the Fimbul winter and the darkness that it created. The Fimbul winter, which was three years of winter with no summer before Ragnarök and the end of the world. I think about it sometimes to live in that kind of darkness and how weird it must have been to look outside your house and see almost nothing. Just darkness as far as I could see. Imagine sitting in a small house in the middle of almost nowhere. Perhaps you have a few neighbors, but mostly it's you and your closest family, some animals, and during the winter time outside your door, there's darkness during most of the day. We have a few hours of sun during Scandinavian winters, but most of the time it's pitch black. Having a light source such as this would probably have been a real comfort during the winter time. And the Vikings would have filled these with animal fats, probably uh, from pigs or seals. Um, I've used coconut oil mainly because I think it's a bit fresher and also, you know, I don't need to use animal fats. So I've gone with coconut oil. Um, and it's really cozy just to be able to bring some light with you into this dark winter. Personally, I've been afraid of the dark for most of my life. But since I started Viking reenactments, I've really gotten used to spending time in the dark. And it doesn't feel so frightening anymore. Also, I kind of like, you know, that feeling that you're in sort of a bubble when you're inside a cozy house and looking out and there's almost nothing and you can hear the wind or the waves and just sit inside and and be happy where you are. Perhaps some of you have been afraid of the dark or perhaps you love it. Um, either way, I'm wishing you a wonderful winter and I'm longing for spring. Take care.